hi guys and welcome to today's video so today i have a collaboration for you and it's our autumn rack or autumn picks um i think some people do this quite differently um i always use my untries to show you and i like to swatch them because i don't always have time to wear them all so i would like i just like to show you what sort of colors i would wear in the autumn and i'm saying this because we had a bit of a conversation about it and uh, like loopy frog said that she doesn't swatch hers because obviously she's going to wear them but it just shows how everybody has a different take on things and that's why you should subscribe to so many channels i guess so make sure you check out the ladies down below um thank you to the lovely amanda who as always organizes um so i've got i think i've got 10 yeah i try and i try and do 10 polishes so i've got 10 polishes to share with you it's a very brown looking autumn rack for me this year and that is A, because of what I've got left in my untried, and B, because I just kept, they were just what I was drawn to this year, really, for autumn colours. So, first up, we've got a grey, and it's from Zoya. This is called Tiran, if I'm saying that correctly, and it's just a nice medium grey polish. I don't have many Zoyas, um, so it's always nice to try a new one. That is Tiran by Zoya. On the grey side, I've also got a uh, painted polish, and this one's called Buster Mauve. So it's a yeah, purpley grey. Um, this one's got some sort of multicolored fine glitters in it, based around by the looks of it, coppers, reds, and greens. Um, yeah, I quite like these Quelly mixes and it's just a nice colour for the autumn time of year. I would maybe do like a gold accent nail with this one or something just to pick out the glitters in there. I think that would look quite pretty. So that's Buster Mauve from Painted Polish. Uh, then we'll move on to uh, the sort of browns that I've picked actually there's only two browns but the rest are sort of i feel like they're based around that sort of shade um i picked out a very old barry m this is number 129 and it's just called chocolate brown and i've had this a long time um and the formula is still good on it and it's just a medium brown basically but you can't be a good old barry m can you i know nika will be there agreeing with me on that one so that one is chocolate brown. Good one to wear a topper with, possibly, if you wanted to, or just on its own as a cream. I don't think brown is a colour that I would wear alone much, um, but this to me just says autumn. Then we've got this coppery brownie shade, or copper, orange, reds, quite a mixture, quite fiery actually, now I look at it again. And this is called Thor from his Maltese de Kelly. And it's a full glitter polish. This is one of those polishes that I bought partly because of the name, because of the picture and the um, name on it. Also because I love glitters, but these are very heavy glitter polishes, I have to say. Um, I only did two coats, this one. But they would be, you would need to wear a, a peel off base with this which doesn't always work out for me because they peel off too early. So maybe if I had like a couple of days where I could wear it and then I'd change it again. But still very pretty um, and one I hadn't tried. So now we're sort of moving towards like a pinky shade. Um, this one is called Vintage Pink and it's from Model Zone. This one I actually love in the bottle, but not so much on my nails um it won't be going because obviously model zone no longer make polishes um i don't know what i would do with this one i feel like maybe some nail art to break it up on my nails maybe some negative space with a darker color or something it just was very very neutral on me um but again i yeah i do like this color in the bottle it looks so pretty 
and I'm sure if I had like a different skin tone it may look different but I am very pale that doesn't stop me from wearing any polishes I wear what I want but yeah this one I don't know I think I'd have to do something like I say like a bit of nail art or something with that one um I'm gonna quickly show you this red now which is well I say red it's like a burgundy and it's got purple glitters in there this is called movies make psychos more creative from the scream trio from the from our lovely lisa's brand bedford and grove um beautiful beautiful polish i did want to keep this one af on after but i started swatching to do so i will be putting this on again at some point just stunning and i needed i needed at least one of the scream trio so i did have to get this one so fabulous polish there by lisa Um, then we're slightly moving a little bit more pinky even more perhaps um trying to choose which one to show you first i was looking for brighter shades but still fell in with that autumn theme so i found this glam which is called sipping gin and juice which does sound like a summer name but it's um a holographic and it's a very neutral color with a hint of pink in it yeah you can't quite see on camera there actually very pretty if you were looking for like a good color for work this would be a sort of go-to i think because it's got that little extra something in it just a very pretty neutral color i think you could probably wear it with anything another good one there from glam we all know i love my glams um the next pink is an illa masca and this one is called scarce which is one of their sort of speckledy polishes and it looks slightly different on the nails to what i expected actually um it's very it's a very dusty pink on the nails which is good because i've got a lot of um speckled polishes so this is again a different shade the only thing i don't like with the illamasqua polishes is the lids because when i do them up they don't do up properly and then i can't get them off to straighten them up and i just i hate lids like that the way where you've got the second where you've got the cap like separate it might not have been this one actually it might have been the other illamasqua that i had that i couldn't get the top back on um but yeah you have to i just I don't like it if they're not straight, which I'm sure most people don't anyway. Uh, then we've got Birthday Cake, and it's another Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I did feature a couple of these on another video. Um, this is a Jelly Belly one, and it's a peachy off-white base with blue, peach, yellow, matte glitters in. Um, quite like this one, actually. This one was from sent to me from Nika, I do believe. Apologies if I'm wrong. Um, I've got quite a bit of collection of the uh, Insta Dry polishes now. Excuse me while I yawn. Um, so this one's very pretty. Just a nice crelly there, which I felt, although it was lighter, um, I felt like it is. It still fitted in well with the autumn shades, and it was sort of gave a bit of brightness to it as well and then my last one which i've kept till last to show you because it's the brightest this is pink grapefruit and it's um a barry m jelly high shine it's probably not your normal autumn color but with my other picks i thought it went quite well and also i just wanted to put something bright in there because the rest have been a little bit more muted uh, so like i said that is pink grapefruit from Barry M. It might look slightly different between the camera and the photo taken. I think that's just the nature of the colour. So it's quite corally with a hint of pink. So those are my picks. Um, I hope you like those. What will you be wearing this autumn? It's I don't know if we're a bit early with it or not but it gives you plenty of time to decide and if you send something you like maybe you can get hold of it in time so thanks for watching that guys again don't forget to check all of the other lovely ladies out and their videos 
I am always very behind recently on my video watching, but I do try my best and some nights just have like a real binge. Um, if you haven't already, then click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment, leave a thumbs up and I will see you next time.